Salam sejahtera and greetings dear students. In EE3200 Microprocessor 2, we are going to use Numodon model of NUC140VE3CN for our lab sessions. Hence, this tutorial is going to show you guys how to set up your Numodon board before starting your lab sessions. When you obtain a Numodon box from the school's lab and unbox it, you will find these items inside the box, which are a Numodon training board, a USB cable, and two CDs. The contents of the CDs are the same. They are used to install the essential software, so you can choose either one. In order to use the Nuvoton board for your lab sessions, you must install these three software in your computer by running the CDs, since the installers are stored in them. Without further ado, I will show you guys how to install the software. Since the contents of the two CDs are the same, you can choose either one. Alright, you will see these folders after you open the CD. Then you double click the auto run application to open the installer. After the installer is launched, click the kill RVMDK EV version under the development environment. Then you will see the three software and install them one by one. The first one is kill RVMDK EV version followed by new link kill driver and lastly psp software library when you click it you are brought to here for our lab we just need to install bsp v1.05.003 when the installation is done you should be able to see kill folder nuvoton folder and nuvoton tools folder in your drive before starting the lab sessions, you should perform the setup procedure. Firstly, please launch the Kill Mu Vision software. After that, create a new project for your lab session and save it in the same drive as the PSP folder to make your life easier. For example, you may create three folders if you have three labs. Then select the target microcontroller device. For our case, we choose NUC140VE3CN because this is the model we use. You can check your board and you can see this model label on it. Now, let's proceed to the demonstration. All right, firstly, you can launch the Kill Mill Vision application by clicking the shortcut created in the start menu. Otherwise, you can find it in your drive in the folder named Kill. After that, create a new project folder for your lab sessions, for example, lab 1, lab 2, lab 3, or mini project. It is advisable to create them in the Nuvoton folder, which contain the PSP library folder. For example, lab 1. Then, click the project, and then, new mu vision project and save it in the folder you created for now lab one so save the project as lab one after that we select the new micro cortex m database expand the Novoton and find the model of our Novoton. For our case, it is NUC140VE3CN. Here it is. The list is arranged alphabetically, so you can find it easily and then click OK. Then you receive this pop-up message. Just click No. If you choose the microcontroller device wrongly, you can re-choose by clicking Project and select Device for Target. And then repeat the process again. Before typing your codes, you must create three groups of files, which are CMSIS files, library files, and source group one. 
Then you add three files under the group of CMSIS files, namely core cm0.c, system nuc1xx.c, and startup nuc1xx.s. For the group of library files, you add drvgpio.c and drvsys.c. Lastly, source group 1 is for you, you to add your source codes file. Without further ado, let's see how to do it. After you have created the project file, you can see that target 1 is here. Expand the target 1, you can see that source group 1 is already created. So you just need to create two more groups, which are CMSIS files and library files. To add them, right click target 1, add group, and then name it as CMSIS files. Repeat for library files, add group, library files. After that, you have to add three files to the CMSIS files groups. To do this, right click CMSIS files, add files to group CMSIS files, the first files to be added is core cm0.c. To find it, click back. This is why you create your project folder in the same folder as the BSP library, so that you can find the files easily. So we click the BSP library, and you see 100 series, cmsis, cm0, core support. Here it is, core cm0 file. Click and add close. So it is added. We continue the same procedure for the second file and third file. Right click, add files, back, BSP library, and you'll see 100 series, CMSIS. This time, CM0. This time, device support. Novoton, NUC1XX, System, NUC1XX, click and add. The last file is in the startup folder. Arm, you see nothing here, right? Don't worry, change your file type to ASM source file or all files. Then you can see the last file. Startup and you'll see one xx.s. Click and edit. So we have add three files to the CMSIS files group. Repeat the same for the library files. There are two files to be added for library files. Add files. Back BSP library. And you'll see 100 series. This time, Nuvoton platform kill. src driver and then we find the first file is drv gpio click add and the last file is drv sys add close expand it you can see that two files are added under library files group for source group one Click File, New, and then Save. Save the file in the Lab1 folder. And name it as Lab1.c. Save. You can see that this text editing window is the place where you type your codes later on. After that, save. After that, add the files to the source group one. 
add files, lab one, add close. You can see that we have added three files to CMSIF files group, two files under library files, and one files under source group files. So this source group files is for you to type your codes later on, but don't type yet. The setup procedures is not yet done. All right, the last part of setup procedure, configure flash tools. There are five steps involved. For output and listing tabs, you have to create two folders, namely OBJ and LSD, and set them for output tab and listing tab respectively. Next, C or C++ tab. You have to add the following path into a box called include path. And this path is too long to type. So it is provided by Dr. Shahal for you guys to copy and paste it. For debug and utility step, you just need to select new link debugger from a list. So let's see the demonstrations now. Firstly, you have to create two folders named OBJ and LSD in your project folder. So for example, lab one is our project folder. So we have to create two folders named OBJ and LSD. After that, back to the mail vision applications. Now click flash, configure flash tools. So the first step is output. After that, click select folder for objects. Then click the OBJ folder you just created. And then click OK. You can see that this changed to OBJ. Alright, next, listing tab. Select, click select folder for listings. After that, click the LSD folder you created just now. And then click OK. You can see that this changed to LSD. You may tick this box as well. After that, C or C++ tabs. You have to add the given path to this include path box. So open the link provided by the Dr. Shahal. After that, copy the path and paste it. Remember to copy everything, including the quotation marks. All right, next, debug tab. Click use and then select the new link debugger from the list. Lastly, utility tab. Under the use target driver for flash programming, we select new link debugger as well. You may tick this. After that, click OK. The setup procedure is now completed. You can now start typing the codes by referring the tab sheets. Once you finish typing, you can compile it by clicking Rebuild all target files here or you can click project project and rebuild all target files. If the rebuild process is completed without any error, you can connect your Nuvoton training board to the computer and then download the codes to the board by clicking download here. Or click flash download is the same. Lastly, you can run the codes by pressing the reset switch on the board after connecting the circuit. Remember, 
only start typing your codes after the setup procedure. Then, compile the codes. If the review process is done without any error or just warning, you can download the codes to the port after connecting the port to the computer as shown in the figure. Finally, run your codes by pressing the reset switch on the port after connecting the circuit. Hope this helps. Thank you and stay safe. Bye-bye.